Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and if you're new to the channel or if you haven't yet already subscribed then please do click that subscribe button down below also click that notification bell so you can be reminded of future videos all right so we are at uh, KSFO airport which uh, you may may not know is San Francisco airport surrounded by lovely hills and mountains and uh, what you can see in front of you is the uh, rather glorious TBM 930 in a very beautiful next-gen livery, okay? All of which can be uh, downloaded from flightsim.to. I'll put a description in the link, uh, or link in the description rather, below. And uh, just as we go around the aircraft, you can see a further modification of uh, door opening, all right, which is a, I think a really, really neat and uh, well wished for um, modification. So, yeah, that was just really, really, really um, excellent, uh, which gives you much more immersion. So, now this video is, is not really to go into detail about the, the updates and the improvements made to the TBM 930, about what I really want to focus on is the ability or the functionality of the G3000 in that now you can actually link it to Navigraph, okay? Uh, now Navigraph is a paid for subscription, so uh, it won't work unless you actually um, sign up with them, all right? Now it's not new, uh, the modification or the, the improvement, the link to Navigraph actually came out in mod 6, all right? All we're going to do is just pop inside the aircraft and just have a look. All right, so what we're going to do first of all is just turn on the circuits. And there you can see the Garmin's are all booting up. And we'll just turn on this middle screen. Okay. All right, so we just want to cancel out this main door alarm so let's just go over here and just click that button right so the way you link your navigraph with the g3000 is simply to go to mfd okay so the main flight display go to utilities okay go to setup and then go to database status okay and there you will see a dedicated page to navigraph charts all right all right, and then it brings you to this part here. And you've got this page, so you literally have to give it uh, your approval right here. Click yes, allow. Okay, and that is that. All right, and get rid of, get rid of the browser. And the last step is to click on this one where it says link account, okay? And then you can see it's attempting to link the account account successfully linked. And there we are. Your account now is connected to the G3000. So all you have to do is click home. Okay. And go to charts. And there you can see. Hey presto. Navigraph charts is up. Displayed on your G3000. Look at that. Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so now you can see here that you've got uh, info, departure, arrival, approach. Okay, so uh, you can actually just scroll up and down just using the mouse. Okay, and you pretty much will get everything that you've got that you would get just signing into Navigraph using the Navigraph um, uh, web page you'll actually get it you can actually get it here on the screen okay and approve taxi routes and so on and so forth okay now you can zoom in all right like this and you can see here that you've actually got your aircraft there so it literally becomes a moving map when you move the aircraft obviously will move and it really is a handy thing for for taxi, and especially thinking about an aircraft uh, aircraft um, an airport like this. You know, it's really handy to 
Uh, just, you know, not a substitute for using visual, but it, it helps um, coordinate your movement around the airport in a safe way. All right. Now, if you want to, okay, so I've already showed you zoom out, zoom in. All right, so let's go to approach. Okay, so you have all your approaches there. All right, now if you go to charts options, okay, if you click plan, you notice that it kind of like automatically automatically zooms into the plan or the top down view of the uh, the chart here. Okay, so it gets rid of uh, all this and all that on top, almost like it just declutters it. And there you can see uh, a bit more clear the, the important bits there as you make your approach uh, to the airport. All right. And uh, other thing you can do is if you click on this button here, click on top. Now you've uh, that puts you into the mouse pad. All right. And then you can actually just uh, scroll around. All right. So. Let's go back to chart options, go to all and click on top of the range button and then you can actually scroll around. All right. So this was all um, highlighted in my uh, pre previous video on the G3000. All right. I do recommend you have a look at that. It's a really, really detailed video and will really put you in good stead if you're new to the G3000 uh, in how to work it and how to operate it. All right. So uh, that is that then you've got rivals and just about everything here really so that is really really uh, neat and uh, it's going to be really really handy as you fly uh, from one place to another now the, the other neat thing it does as well is this so if you go back to home all right if you have a look here you've got this little button called half all right so if you just click on that now you've got the map also uh, with the chart displayed displayed as well so I mean how how, how neat is that <laughs> so you you know and you can also obviously zoom in and move the map around as before uh, yeah so I think that's really really cool so um, I'm trying to find out I've just had a brief look at this really, so I'm not sure what else it does. Perhaps that is it. Uh, perhaps that's all it does. Okay. Um, yeah, so you got departure there and info, as we said. All right. So pretty much that is it. That's your, your charts available on the G3000. And, uh, you know, um, if there's any more major updates uh, to the G3000, then... I surely will make a video on it. All right. So, yeah, so that's that. That's about it. Now, uh, what am I going to say? Now, how to install the uh, 7.2 mod. Okay, that's the other thing. Because if you're new to MSFS, you, you, you know, might be a bit confusing, uh, especially when you hear about community folder and uh, things like that. Well, if you have a look at my video, on the DA62, uh, I'll put a link in uh, the description, and that would actually tell you how you actually find your community folder. All right, so uh, yes, yeah, so I'll leave that for you in the link. And uh, you know, if you've got any problems, you can always drop me a comment, and I'll do my best to help you out. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. That's about it for this video, and uh, I hope you found it useful. And uh, yeah, uh, please do, if you like the video, please do click on like. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all again uh, real soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care for now. Bye.